Hello, Sadiq. Hello, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. How are you? Yes, I'm great. Thank you. So, can we start with interview? Yes, ma'am. So, I will divide into three parts. First, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Then, output-based question. And finally, one project. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, first, you can start by introducing yourself. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. My name is Sakib Ismail Bhatt. I have recently completed a Bachelor's of Engineering from CMR, CMR Institute of Technology, Bangalore. Okay. I am proficient in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS, Tailwind CSS. And I am currently looking for a front-end developer job. Okay. So, uh, are you aware of React? Yeah. Okay. So, I will be asking questions on that as well. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so let us start with HTML. What are static websites? Ma'am, static website which only uh, has uh, like one page, ma'am. It doesn't have other pages. No. Definition is wrong. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not aware of that, I guess. Ma okay. So, static websites are the content which will be same. We can have multiple pages, but content will be same. It will not be changing. Oh, okay. Okay, so what is dynamic website? Ma'am, uh, guessing from static, I guess dynamic websites are those websites which will be having different types of content yes. and multiple pages. Yes, correct. So, whenever we open like YouTube, Udemy, so content will be changing each and every time. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. What is HTML? HTML stands for a uh, hypertext markup language. It's basically used to structure or uh, lay out a web page. Okay. So without HTML, can we build our websites? No, ma'am. Yes, we, can, we cannot build. Yes. So what does markup means? My markup means uh, that how the tags or elements are structured on the web page. For example, uh, if we have uh, H1, it will tell the browser that it's heading, the top level heading, or P stands for paragraph. Yes, correct. So, can you share your screen? My screen, ma'am? Yes. Oh, create one folder and share your screen. Okay, one second, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, create HTML file and JavaScript file. Okay. Then okay. In HTML, just write simple structure. Okay, stop. Oh, okay. So here, what is top type? Ma'am, dog type stands for, uh, it tells the browser, uh, like, it's here it's written dog type HTML, so it tells the browser that we are using HTML5. Yes, correct. Uh, which so, HTML we are using. And what are attributes? Ma'am, attributes uh, are the properties for our tags uh, to make them, uh, sorry ma'am. Ma actually, attributes are the properties for our tags. So to okay. ma uh, make them more functional or what okay okay so they will basically they will give additional information related yeah additional to yes ma'am so here what is language attribute ma'am it tells the html that uh, we are using en that means english ma'am okay can we change that language i guess yes ma'am yes we can change yes, so here what is head element Ma'am, head element contains all the meta information and title of the web page, ma'am. Okay. Apart from that? I don't know, ma'am. Okay. So, it will include all the content which will not be visible on the main screen. Yeah, exactly, ma'am. Okay. Not be visible. Yes, ma'am. So, what is element? Ma'am, element, uh, for example, uh, ma'am, we have... Tags, elements. Elements are the same as tags, I guess. Okay. Body tag. 
So basically in HTML element consists of three parts, opening tag, content and closing tag. Oh, okay. Ma. Okay, this yeah, entire exactly, thing makes up element. So tag is opening tag, closing tag. Yes, element ma. is con complete. Opening? Tag. Yeah, 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 mama. Okay. I remembered, mama. I forgot, I guess. Okay, no problem. So uh, what is body element? The body element, uh, it uh, contains all the things which will be displayed on our web page. Yes, correct. So, can you create one simple list? Yes, ma'am. Just give some content, one word content. Sorry, ma'am? One word content, home, contact. Okay. Okay, okay. one, two, like three neighbor. is also fine. One, two, three is also fine. Come on. Okay, so what are uh, different types of list in HTML? Ma'am, there are two types of list in HTML, unordered list and ordered list. Okay, we have another list also, description list. Oh, okay, it is not that. widely used, but it is also one of the type. Oh, okay, ma'am. I'll okay, research about it. Okay, okay. So, difference between UL and OL? Yes, ma'am. Okay, difference. Ma'am, uh, like in UL, uh, if uh, on ordered list, we'll be having blood points okay. or other things. And in ordered list, we'll be uh, having uh, like one, two, three numbering or maybe in Romans or maybe in like uh, in English alphabets, ABC, we'll be marking it. Okay. Like in order. So apart from that, any other? Uh, no, ma'am, I don't. Okay, so if they ask this question, you can tell unordered list is used where order doesn't matter. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Order list where order matters. Okay, got it? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, so here list items are block level or inline level elements? Ma'am, list items are. One second. Block, ma'am. Yes, correct. So, difference between block and inline? Ma'am, block elements are those elements which will uh, occupy entire width of the screen. Okay. And inline will uh, contain only the required content. The content has only that much. Okay. So, can we give height and width to inline elements? No, ma'am. Ma uh, we have to change the display property for even we'll, we, have, we, should, we should make to, it to block or uh, inline block display. Okay, yeah. so can we give padding and margin to inline elements? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay, you can create one style tag and you can check. Sorry, ma'am. Just create one style tag inside head. Ma'am, like, uh, ma'am, can I give an answer? Like, uh, I was checking, like, sometimes it will take, no, no, not sometimes. In padding, upper padding, I don't know, top padding it will take. Top and right padding, it will not take in inline, I guess. And for height, it will not take, I guess. Okay, for inline okay. elements, height and width will not be taken. We have to yeah. change the display property. Yeah. Padding, both horizontal will be taken, right and left. Then yeah, right and left will not, will be, not taken. be taken, yes ma'am. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, later when we start with CSS, we'll do this. Okay. Can you just create simple anchor tag below this UL? Anchor tag, ma'am? Yes. yes ma okay. Uh, any text, click here or something. So, what makes this anchor tag as anchor tag? Um, ma'am, it uh, makes the. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I didn't understand the question. Okay. This anchor tag, it is a clickable link. Yeah. Yes. So, what makes this as clickable link? Maybe the href part, ma'am, because the, we will provide the links in href, and that, then when we click, the, it will. Yes, correct. Call it. Yes, ma'am. Href attribute. Okay, without href attribute, it will be like a normal text. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what are different types of headings? And there are six top uh, six type of headings h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 h1 has the highest priority and and 
follows it like H two as lowest and H three as lowest and lower lower it goes. Okay. So can we have more than one H one in our page? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Reason. Ma'am, reason it's like if we create a first section and we'll give H one to first section like this is. This is my uh, first section, and in the next section we can also give the H one because there can be multiple uh, sections or uh, blocks or something to which we will give our headings. Okay, fifty fifty, but in one page always use only one H oh. one. Okay, it is not a rule, but for different section you can use other headings H two, H three, H four. Oh. But H one okay. is primary heading. It should indicate the primary concept of your website. Oh okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay so what are comments ma'am comments are used uh, used uh, that to highlight that the if we for example comment our ul it will not be rendered on our web page and if we write it is used to, uh, to like what code we did we write like is used to highlight yes Okay. Uh, what are semantic elements? Ma'am, semantics means uh, how the uh, order of a web page is like displayed. Like semantic, there are uh, a header is there for uh, the header part. Actually, semantics is used to make our web websites more SEO friendly and uh, efficient or easy to understand. Uh, as semantics also used to make the web browsers easy to easy to understand our code and as well as for the developers. So there are different parts of uh, semantic elements. For example, header is there, a uh, main is there, section is there, uh, footer is there, aside is there. Okay, correct. So why should we use semantic elements to make our websites uh, more? Uh, Uh, SEO friendly. Like if if we in search engines will search our websites, it will rank our uh, website on the top. And uh, it's uh, using semantic semantic elements. It is easier to understand for browser as well as for the developers. Okay, one more important thing we use. I don't remember. Okay, it is for a screen reader. Okay, person who are not able to see, for them it is very helpful. Ah oh, yes, exactly, Mama. I forgot. Okay, okay, no problem. So, um, in place of bold tag, what tag is replaced? In place of bold tag, B tag. Ah, uh, yeah, strong, ma'am. Okay, in place of italic. I remember this, but I. No, uh, no problem. It is emphasize E M. Emphasize. Uh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Uh, can we start with CSS? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Okay. Uh, will you do internal or uh, external CSS here? Whatever it. Okay, you can create internal only. Okay. Are you aware of Flexbox? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here you have created list. Just uh, use Flexbox and display it side by side. Okay, ma'am. Ma should I remove that H H uh, anchor tag? Yes, yes. You can remove. Okay. What exactly I have to do? You have to use flex box now. One to three will be displayed on top of each other. Now I yeah, I have to make it person. horizontally. Yes, horizontally. Actually, I'm using Tailwind CSS so much. I have not. Like. <laughs> uh, no problem. One second. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Like can, can you remove that bullet points? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Correct. So, what is CSS? Ma'am, CSS stands for ca uh, cascading style sheets. It is used to make our web pages. to style our web pages to okay so here you have written justify content space evenly yes ma'am so what is justify content called 
हां जस्ट बाय मैम आई विल टेल यू ओके वन सेकंड मैम आई रिमेंबर दिस दिस एक्सेस I remember, ma'am, but I, I right now I am not recalling it. No problem. It is called as property. Okay, okay, property. Ah, okay, ma'am, that way. Yeah, ma yes, property value. Yes, ma'am. This, this uh, the left side is property and right side is value. Yes, correct. And this entire thing called complete one line is called as. Okay, complete one line. Yes. Mm, I don't. Recall. Okay, it is called as declaration or style. Okay, ma'am. Style, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, what is declaration block? No, ma'am. I don't know about it. Okay, no problem. Okay. From opening curly brace to closing curly brace is called as declaration block. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. This much. Okay, I understand. And like this. Yes, it is called as declaration block, this is block. and that styling is called as declaration. Yes, ma'am. And this UN is called as. It's a name selector. Yes, so selector plus declaration block makes up CSS rule. Yes. One CSS rule, okay. Yeah. Just create one div. Div, ma'am. Yes, create one div and give one class to div. Okay, one second. Yes, How do you select this class? Now we have to use dot and dot. Okay. And then. Can you tell me three different ways of writing CSS? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, firstly there is inline CSS. Okay. Then internal CSS and external CSS. Okay. Which is having more priority? Inline CSS, ma'am. Okay. And what about internal and external? and then internal and then external okay uh, no it it will be same priority oh, based okay. on the order the stylings will be given yeah. okay whatever is given at the last that stylings will be given yeah, yeah. okay okay thank you okay uh, so inside this div container what you have created yes, just sir. create nav one article aside and footer okay yes ma'am Okay, just keep some content. One, two, three, four only. Okay, now open Google. Google, ma'am. Yes. A uh, search grid template. Grid template, yes. Grid template. Okay, go to images. Select any one of the template. What? Any you can select second one. This one, this one, or this one. You say anything. Anything is fine. Okay, now you have to convert into this kind of layout. You can add one more content, one more okay. aside. Okay, ma'am. Okay, copy this image and paste in your editor. So can I? I remembered it. Okay. Like this header. Okay. Using grid only or flex box? Using grid. Okay. Before that, what is grid? Ma'am, like uh, flex box is using uh, for uh, one dimensional. It uh, it's used to make uh, or. Uh, Website is responsive, but it it's not it's not like if we have my sorry ma'am if we have like the layout which is more complicated flexbox is not not preferred for that but yes. grid is grid can be used for the more compl complicated and two D layouts. Yes, two D layouts. So can you just convert? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. okay, create one more article or a site and convert. No, oh, come on. Let me try. Okay, sorry. And comment that you will entirely. Oh, come on.
I don't remember. It, I use tailwind CS. Yes, so okay. I will get some difficult things. Yeah. Mm. Maybe this. Okay, can I give it in classes? Okay, nav aside article. Okay. I'll use nav. We had only three now. some height Article that's main content. Okay. So article has we uh, can take one more FR and four grid Can I check it once again, Mom? Yes, yes, you can check the result. Mm. How many? Once again, Mom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then there is footer.
Why did I use this one again? Yeah, I'm almost like this. If I give more height, yeah. more height. I Almost more. Okay. Uh, come to your code. So the code which you have written. One second. One second. Okay. Okay. I guess I guess missed this right. Yeah. Okay. So the code which you have written is it correct entire thing? You got the result. That's fine. Yeah. But the code. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, first thing come to HTML. First is we cannot have same name for the IDs. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Ma I use I have to use class. Huh. Okay. The ID is used. I actually I got confused. I thought I'll give different IDs and I'll do. That's why I created here two side one. I I thought I'll give side one and side two, but okay. I just completely forgot it. Okay, and give their dot. Oh yes, no. Now come on top. So here, if you see the template, we are having only three columns. Where, ma'am? Three columns in that template. One that green color, blue color, and green. One, two, three. This, ma'am. This one. Okay. Okay, only three columns, so you don't have to give four values. Oh, I, ma'am, if I give four, it will be like these. Uh, it will be same, ma'am. The width of these uh, sidebar and main content, like here, yes. it is the width is. It's not spanning. Okay, it will span. You just uh, do remove that one fr from last. Okay, ma'am. Let me check. Now. And for middle one, you can give any pixel value. For middle yes. FR. Yes, ma'am. In grid okay. template column for middle FR. For second FR. Okay, second FR. Huh. Any Give pixel? Any 250 pixel or 300 pixel. Okay. Now for grid template rows also, remove that all the values. Okay, ma'am. Give 20 pixel for header. Mm -hmm. And there you can give 100 pixel or 250 anything and again 20 pixel for footer. Okay. Now see the result. Now should I change the span values or not? Yes, yes. I will tell you. Come there. And whenever you are spanning, so whatever you have written, based on that you will get the result. Yes, ma'am. Uh, come there. Come to HTML file. But here you have to give one slash. So you should tell from what column we are spanning. Okay. Okay, come on top. So header will be, nav will be grid column. You can simply write one slash minus one. Remove row. Okay. There only. Remove that span for. Remove one slash minus one. Okay, remove that row part. Grid row remove. Okay. What does it mean, ma'am? So basically, we are spanning complete row. So first okay. column till last column. The 
third part is like okay, three is uh, coming. Yes, in footer also you give the same thing. Grid column one min one slash minus one. Okay, after giving one slash, you can give span three. Okay, basically we are spanning three columns, but this is the shortcut. We can simply write minus one. Okay. And from article and side, remove that col grid column spans and everything. Actually, I'm using tail and CSS, so I don't have to write this much. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot. Ah, uh, that that is the problem. We use different technologies, and here we get stuck. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Okay. I, I'm not no, much aware. Ah, uh, no problem. Because if you apply for front end, they will be asking questions on CSS. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, now you see the result. Yeah. Okay. But ma'am, okay. the sidebars are spanning more. You you can adjust the uh, size in grid template column. A row. Okay. For yeah. this, we ha huh, you can adjust accordingly. But this is the trick, okay? Grid column one slash minus one. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. If you don't want to give minus one, then here you can use span three. Okay, yeah. based on your wish. But you have to give one slash from wherever you are spanning. Oh, okay. Ma If you are spanning from second column, then two slash. Yeah. Okay. So comment this entire thing now. So do you know what is universal selector? I'm um, universal selector. Asterix. It's used uh, to select all the styles of the web page, ma'am. For example, if we use universal asterix. Will give margin zero, so it will uh, do margin zero for all the elements, tags, and everything of our web page. Okay, so if I give margin zero inside body, will it be reflected? Now where inside body? Inside body, because body is parent for all. Yes, ma'am. No, it it will do margin zero for only body, ma'am. I guess. Okay, you can check the result. Give universal selector and body. Okay, in your sorry, man, I don't understand. In your selector, what I have to do? Margin zero, it will be selecting all the elements. Okay. Okay. Give this. See the result. Okay, it has removed. Yes, ma'am. Now comment this line and use body. Wait, ma'am. Can I check before this? Like. I'm... Yes. Yes. Can do. I can comment it. Yeah, there are no margins. Yeah, my I guess it will take. It will show the same result here also. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. So what all margin. properties will be inherited inside body? Ma'am, I guess everything that will come inside body. Okay. So just uncomment that universal selector. But the okay, no, okay. Okay, and give border top some value. Okay, border top twenty pixels for fifty. Yes, ma'am. Fifty pixels solid and any color. Give five pixel. Fifty pixel will be more. Oh, okay, it's border top. Red top, huh? Okay. You don't come in. Yeah. Okay. Now border is applied. Now same thing. Just copy and paste in body. Remove from comment from universal selector. Comment in okay. Oh, only for body it will take. Ah, so inside body, not all the properties will be inherited. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, if you want to inherit in all the elements, you have to put in universal selector. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, only text related properties like font family, font yeah, size. Yeah, font family, family, text size. Yeah, ma'am. Color or background color. Yes, you can give in body. Yes, 
Okay, this is the basic difference between universal and body. Thank you. So, how do you add multiple classes? Sorry, ma'am. How do you add multiple classes in HTML? Add? How do you select? How do you add multiple classes? I shall add. Ha. Like in HTML, ma'am. Yes, yes. I don't. I didn't understand the question. How do you add multiple like classes in HTML? Add, if you want to add one more class to this div, how do you add? Oh, okay, ma'am. Only we, like for container, it will space and will write something like okay. box. So this this will be a different class. Okay, correct. So, do you know what is RGB model? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Uh, RGB is basically uh, uh, red, green, blue. So okay. it will take the values from uh, zero to. Two fifty six or two two fifty five or two fifty six. I two fifty five. Yeah, two fifty five for each. So okay. zero zero being the least to the max. Like if we give to zero, it will be the least shade of red, for example. So that will be I guess whitish only. And if we give the two fifty five, it will be the highest shade of red, like dark red. It will come. Yes. So what are pseudo classes? Um, pseudo classes. Uh, for example, there is hover, ma'am. It is used. For example, if we hover on this div, so if we use the pseudo class hover, and uh, we write like whenever whenever we hover, it will it should change the color red. So hover is there, after is there, before is there, uh, active is, active is there. After before are pseudo classes. Yeah, after uh, is used to add the elements. Uh, like if we use uh, after for this aside, it will uh, you use add the element after that the yeah. element aside element and before we'll use before that. But there are some like yeah, ma'am, I remember this. One. Okay, okay, no problem. After and before are not pseudo classes. Okay, those are pseudo elements. Oh, pseudo elements. Sorry, I got confused. Oh no problem. This is confusing part only. Yeah. Pseudo classes are represented by. Ma'am, uh, colon, ma'am. Uh, pseudo elements. A double, uh, like colon, but twice. Huh. Yes. Mm. Can you explain box model? Uh, yes, ma'am. Box model is used the how the element or tag is displayed on the web page. It basically contains uh, four elements: that's content, padding, border, and margin. Content is the uh, where our text or image will be uh, will be vis uh, visible. That content. Uh, padding is the distance between border and uh, content, and uh, border is the outermost uh, like outermost. Uh, sorry, outermost uh, layer of the uh, uh, padding or the, that content, and margin is the difference between uh, two different uh, borders of elements, two different elements. Okay, uh -huh. out outside space. Yes, ma'am. So, what is fill area inside the box model? Fill. Fill area. Fill area. Sorry, ma'am, I'm not aware about. This. Okay. Okay. So just create one simple anchor tag. Okay. And give background color. Should I comment this one? Yes, you can comment. Okay, I have to give background color for this. Yes. Give some content. Yes, ma'am. Okay, see the result. Okay, now this is the content. Now just give some padding. Padding of um. Uh, okay. 
Now the space what we have created that is called as fill area. Now what space like See, between the content inside, and? No, no, we have content. Yes, ma'am. If we give background color and if we are having some padding, background color will be filled to entire padding as well. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, so that is fill area. If we give oh. any image, that will be filled entire thing. It will be including padding also. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that is fill area. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So here, if you see, padding is applied on top also, but for inline we cannot apply. Yes, ma'am. So do you know the reason? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay, actually it has not applied content which you have displayed. Click me, it is on the same place. Yeah. It has not moved. Even if you increase the padding, it will be on the same place only. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, exactly. If you check, it will be on the same place. So it, it has not applied. Mm. So do you know what is normal flow? Sorry, ma'am, what? What is normal flow? Normal flow, I remember it, ma'am, but I am not recalling it, I guess. Okay, no problem. Like if you place header, header will be displayed, content div will be displayed, footer. So in order it will be displayed. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that is the normal flow. So how we can change the flow? By changing the, I guess, dis uh, the, the display property of... Okay, by changing the position, by using position property. Position or yes, ma'am. Okay. So okay. do you know what is the default value of position property? It is, ma'am, uh, static, ma'am. Yes, correct. So, are you aware of relative and absolute? Relative, yes, ma'am. Okay. Difference between them. Hey, sorry, ma'am. One second. I'm getting my charger. One second. Ma okay, okay. <laughs> yes, same here. <laughs> Mine also, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, difference between relative and absolute. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. If you use position absolute, uh, for example, for a div, it will uh, it will remove that uh, div from the normal flow. Yes. And uh, yeah, so, so it will uh, uh, it will not take the space. It will, uh, for example, we then we use that index to uh, make it visible. To uh, like, if we do give positive Z index, it will be the, on top of the other divs, or negative, it will be on, below them. So this is the absolute and uh, and uh, for absolute we can use uh, other properties like top, bottom, right, left to mm -hmm. show where we can place that uh, over div in the web page. Yes. Yeah. But for relative it will not take it from, uh, uh, from the flow. It will uh, have its own space. But we can uh, place it in anywhere of the page using the same properties top, right, uh, bottom, left. For relative we can use properties. Top left, bottom and right. Yes, ma'am. For relative? Relative we don't use. Only for parent we give relative. And for child if we give absolute, based on top, right, bottom and left, we will place that content. No, ma'am. Yeah, for parent if we give relative and for child we will give absolute, then we can uh, make that div uh move according to the, uh, that parent only like it will yes. not go outside that parent yes but for relative i guess we use ma'am i don't remember okay you yeah. can check oh yes ma okay yeah. okay for okay. Uh, due to a relative position related to this only huh. and we'll do for example right zero and top will be for example Two hundred pics. I, I, it's moving, ma'am. Okay. Uh, show the CSS code. Yeah, ma'am. Like if I give left zero, then I guess what should it? Okay. The for left. Oh, I have to use pics. Okay, ma'am. If I give top two hundred, it's moving, ma'am. So if I remove top, top two hundred pixels, yeah, ma'am. It's like we'll give okay, top two hundred. For single element, we can give. But I'm talking about normal flow and out of flow. Sorry, ma'am. Normal flow. 
placement. So it will be placed on top of each other. Okay, whatever content we have displayed. Yes, ma'am. So when it comes to child and parent, what about relative and absolute? So difference between them. Ma'am, like for parent, if we we'll give relative, and for child, we'll give absolute. I uh, will be able to move that. Uh, Due which we have to which we gave the uh, absolute value in related to its parent, it will not go. It will not go out of that. Yes, correct. So for single element, we are able to give here. Yes, ma'am. But when it comes to parent and child, can we give? I guess, ma'am, we can give, ma'am. Okay, you can check. Maybe I'll use the ma'am. Okay, okay. Yes, come and check. What exactly I have to do, ma'am? Just give position absolute. Okay, ma'am. And give top, uh, top to be something, some value. Like if I you give background bottom, color. Bottom zero, it will. Ha. Huh. Okay, ma'am. There is no width for this. Give width, ma'am. Height. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. The child is coming bottom of the page now. Okay. Now, for parent, can you give property top left, bottom right? One second, ma'am. Okay. For parent, just give any value, top or left. Okay. Top two hundred pixels, for example. Okay. It is working. Yes, ma'am. Okay. This even I was not sure. <laughs> That's a. Okay. Okay. You. Thank you so much. I got to know <laughs> this. It's so okay, good. Everyone is learning. Yeah. So, do you know different types of selectors? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you list? Uh, there is uh, ID selector, class selector, uh, okay. uh, element selector. Okay. Okay. What else is there? ID class. Element and there is that a uh, universal selector, ma'am. Okay. Apart from that. Apart from that, ID class uh, element universal. There was one. I I'm not. Okay. Able to okay. Record. No problem. We have list selector, descendant selector. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, there they are the advanced. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, can you just show me one example of list selector? Um, maybe I'm not aware about that. Okay. Okay. Yes, so you will we will select the selectors and separate by comma if you want to apply the same style. Yeah. Okay. Mu multiple like yeah yeah yeah. Uh -huh. So for sibling selector, what operator we use? Um, uh, I guess uh, plus operator. Ah, uh, correct. Yes, so last question in CSS, can you tell me different types of layers? Different types of layers. Sorry, ma'am. Layouts. Yes. Uh, different types of layouts. Ma'am, I guess there can be one D layout and two D layouts, ma'am. Okay. So we have name for that. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not able to recall that. Okay, we have page layout and component layout. Okay. Okay, page layout is complete one page. So inside that elements will be arranged. Okay. So component is inside that page only. We will have some sections. Inside that sections elements will be arranged. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Like some semantics. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Now we'll start with JavaScript. Okay, ma'am. Okay. What is JavaScript? 
मैम ओके मैम वन सेकेंड मैम जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज अ वन सेकेंड ओके ओके जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज अ डायनेमिक इंटरप्रेटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज मैम ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट मैम इट इज इट इज यूज्ड फॉर वेब डेवलपर इट इज यूज्ड टू बिल्ड uh it is used to uh, give functionalities to our websites okay javascript uh, what is dynamic language dynamic, dynamic means dynamically type yeah ma'am it's like uh, for example when we declare variables like uh, like where a 10 so it will we, we are not giving that uh, type of or uh, variable whether it's an integer type or a string so java script inside only decides the type of uh, what type did we give for example if we give integer 10 so java script java script in, internally takes that as a integer okay so java script is interpreted or compiled interpreted ma'am okay so previously it was interpreted okay now it is just in compiled language both interpreted and compiled okay ma'am okay So now in modern JavaScript we use just in compiled thing. Okay, ma'am. I just got it. Got it. Okay. So JavaScript is single threaded or multi threaded? Multi, ma'am. I guess. Okay. So what does multi means? Multi thread means? Uh, I'm not aware this aware okay. about. Okay. Sorry. So JavaScript is single threaded language. Okay, ma'am. Okay, line by line our code will be executed. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Exactly, line by line it will. It will uh, synchronously it will execute. Yes. Code. So, how does JavaScript handles long running task? Like what, ma'am? Like how does if you are having long running task in between, hmm. how does JavaScript handles that? Ma'am, we can write uh, yeah, asynchronous code, ma'am, for yes, that. Yes, correct. So, can you tell me different types of data types in JavaScript? Yes, ma'am. There is number, ma'am. Number, string, okay. uh, boolean, uh, begin, mm. null, and undefined. Yes. Okay. One still. I mean, uh, number, string, boolean, null. Undefined, begin, and one more is there, ma'am. Um, okay, so data types are divided into two categories: yes, primitive and non-primitive. Primitive and non-primitive, ma'am. So in primitive, we have seven data types, and non-primitive, we have only one object. Yes, ma'am. Object. So arrays, everything are objects in behind. Yes, ma'am. So, um, can you tell me what is string? Now string. Yes. <laughs> Now string. Uh, how can I explain it? Like whatever we write in double quotes or. Ha. Huh. Single yeah, quotes. Yeah, single quotes or double quotes. Okay. So now uh, I will be pasting some coding questions. Okay, ma'am. Okay, on chat. Open your JavaScript file. Yeah, one second, ma'am. Let me connect it, ma'am. Yes, link it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will be pasting some questions. You have to copy and paste. Without seeing the output, you should tell me the result. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. We can. Okay. Ah, uh, I have pasted. Ah, uh, one. I'm minute. sure I zoom my screen or or it is visible. Ah, uh, it is visible. One minute. Delete this. Delete this question. Remove okay. this. Okay.
Okay, now paste this. And just remove this first plus. Okay, here, ma'am, this one. Ha, yes. Okay, I have to tell the output of this. Yes. Uh -huh. You can zoom the screen. It's a very small. That's why I was saying. Is it okay? Ah, uh, yes. Mm. I guess it, this will give error. Uh, what, uh, Sadiq? My mate, uh, my actually it's Sakib. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> Sakib. <laughs> From that time I'm calling Sadik. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, it will give error, ma'am. Okay. Uh, mm. See the result. I'll refresh it. Nani na. But ma'am, uh, okay, it ma'am for but here we use plus before, so it will convert this to integer. No, ma'am, I guess I studied that. Yes, uh, if we are having number inside that double quotes, it will convert. Oh, okay, if we are having not a number, that will not. Huh. So, oh. you know how we got that result? Yes, ma'am, it concatenated, ma'am. This. Yes, we got here N A N. Then it got concatenated. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will. Paste okay, it. nine, ma'am. It gave it gave that nine for. Ha, not a yes, number. Yes, Not a number. Then rest it concatenated. Yes. Then it yeah, has converted it, to lowercase. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I will paste the second question. Okay. Should I comment this? Yes, yes, comment. Okay. What actually I have to know? Okay, the output tell, of this. Ah, uh, yes. But should I log this result or like? No, no, without seeing the result, you have to tell me. Okay. What? False or empty object or null. No, ma'am, I guess I will not be able to. Okay, see the result. So, what is OR operator? By guessing the OR operator, you can tell the result. Okay. Okay, one second, ma'am. False is there or this? It will give true, ma'am, I guess. Okay, you can see the result now. I guess we have to log that first result. Yeah, yes, we have not logged. Yeah. Ah, empty object it gave. Okay, uh, now can you tell me why? Uh, no, ma I'm not aware about that. Okay, so in our operator, if any one value is true, so that true value will be returned. Okay, ma'am. So here, object is empty, but still it is value, true the value. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we have false values like false, undefined, null, empty string. Yeah, ma'am. So that doesn't come, uh, so empty object doesn't come into false values. So that is the reason. Okay, uh, only truth, truth values will be displayed yes. or returned. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I will paste the third question. Okay, ma'am. Now, this is another scenario. I will uh, close this. Okay, false uh, zero. I do empty string, ma'am. Okay, you can check the result. 
nothing is displayed yes, it will be empty string it's so not. now in place of empty string just write your name like this ma'am yes yeah. now what will be the result yes okay yes. Uh, don't see the result uh, <laughs> okay sorry ma'am don't save now remove sahib and write null null i have to write null Remove quotes. Double quotes. Double quotes. Right. Remove it. Now, what will be the result? Everything is falsy value here, ma'am. So I guess nothing will be then result. Okay. See the result. Okay. Null will. So if everything <laughs> is false, so last value will be displayed. Okay. Last value will be displayed. Mm -hmm. Just stop live server and open file in system directly. Mm, one second, I'll do that. Just open that folder very good. Okay, sorry. One second, ma'am. And we'll take your time. Yep, yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now I will paste the fourth question. Okay. Now I can uh, keep this side by side. Yes. Fine. Uh, I have pasted. One second. One. Okay. Okay, this is an array apple, mango, banana, grapes. Delete result to result. Now, I'm not aware about this delete, but if it deletes that, so it will delete like 0th is apple, 1 is mango, ban banana, it will delete. Okay. So, what will like be the that. result? Final array? Final level will be apple, mango, and grapes. I guess then. Okay. If it, I'm not aware about delete. I'm just guessing. Okay, you can see the result. Oh uh, yeah, ma'am, it deleted that. Okay, it will not be delete. It will just but create empty slot empty. for that. Empty. Okay, ma'am. So empty what? Slot. What will be the length of this array? It will be like one, two, three, four, ma'am. Okay. How four? Because we deleted banana. Yeah, ma'am, we deleted banana, but there is uh, the empty slot there. Okay. We didn't so, delete that space, ma'am. Okay, so that will also be counted. Yes, so if I want to completely remove, how can we do? Ma'am, uh, we can use pop. Yes, array. we can use array methods. Yes, ma'am, array methods, we can use pop and there is also shift, ma'am. Okay. So we are having different methods also using by giving the numbers we can delete. Yes, ma'am. We have slice, okay. Slice, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will paste another question. Second, my work. Okay, okay. Yeah, ma'am. Like okay. number is equal to ten. Then set time out. Number two hundred. What exactly? I have to guess the output, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Of this, of this of this number. console, I have to guess. Yes. Okay, ma'am. One second. I'll do like okay. Let number is ten. Then we use set timeout, but it's zero. Zero. It will be two hundred, ma'am. Okay. See the result. Ah yeah. Okay. Two hundred. So how we got two hundred? Ma'am, because. Uh, 
even if we kept it uh, time out zero it uh, javascript it will like hold it for that millisecond okay. i guess yes ma'am yes. the, then yes. we initialize number 200 and it will then that yes correct so so set time out is asynchronous function yes ma'am okay i will paste next question entire thing copy entire thing what okay is there anything else i don't yes oh okay and yeah ma'am like okay. one by one i have to guess yes you have to tell the result complete result Okay, only out one output will be come will be there. Okay. No, I'm just asking one thing. No, you we have we will get two results. Okay, ma'am. Like console add four six, console sub four six, then function add a plus b and let. sub function a yeah, okay okay we have to console so there will be two output so for add four and okay we are calling it their function okay yes but we are calling it top of so this will be and maybe it will give error or something undefined okay so for first what we get and for second what we get for first okay sub is it is equal to sub uh, ma'am for first maybe it will give error or some undefined because we are calling it before the function okay for second for second let sub equals to i'm uh, for second i'm not me I'm not sure, ma'am. Okay, you can see the result. Yeah, it gave. Okay, for first it just added, and for second it gave. Yes. Added. So first one is function declaration, and second is expression. Okay, ma'am, we can call the function before we declare it. Yes, function declarations can be called before. Okay, Bef oh. because they are hoisted. Okay, ma'am, hoisting is. And expression here we have used let. So this is in TDZ area. Temporarily dead zone. Okay, ma'am. So before you uh, declaring, we cannot call. Okay, ma'am. Fine. Okay, if you change to var, it will be working. Just change to var. Yeah, ma'am. Because that hoisting only. Huh. Yeah. Uh, remove let. Okay, sorry. I, what did I? <laughs> var also, I think it will not work. Just check. Ah, uh, one second. I have to use to var here. Uh, ha, sub no, is not a function. We got sub is not defined. Why we got you know? Ma'am, it hoisted, but we like we defined it. We didn't define it. Okay. No, so now it is not in TDZ area. Okay. Okay. Now where will be hoisted to undefined? Yes. So here in second line, when we are calling, we are doing undefined bracket four comma six. Okay. So that is the reason we got this type error. Yes, ma'am. For let and const, we got reference error. Okay. Okay. I will paste the next question. Okay. Okay. I paste it. Yes, ma'am. uh from where i have to okay this much let's just do this it 
if not of data sent abroad where data is equal to true okay data is true function sent abroad is a function in console.log i am ready to go abroad okay where where we can same where if where undefined it will be true I guess nothing will be. Hello, ma'am. You can see the result. Nothing will be. I guess. Oh, I am ready. Okay. Uh, you know why? Sorry, ma'am. You know why? Why the function got called? Yeah, sorry, ma'am. I for I didn't see that note. So what, ma'am? It will similarly it got undefined. That's a yes false value. Then we did not a false. That is true, and it just called the send abroad and. Yes. So again, concept of hoisting. Yes, ma'am, hoisting. I didn't saw that. Not. Ah, uh, no problem. Yeah. Okay. I'll paste the next question. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Once you are getting tired or stuck, you can tell me. Okay, we can stop. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, ma'am. I'm. I can go <laughs> as much as you want. <laughs> okay. I will paste the next question. In this question, I have to guess the output. Yes. Okay. It will be. It will be one, two, three, ma'am. Okay. So why? Ma'am, because uh, it will concatenate it, ma'am. We are concatenate integer with the string, ma'am, but it will concatenate, will not add it. Okay, correct. Now just change it to minus. Okay, sir. So should I check the output, ma'am? Yes, you can check. I uh, want to see where, ma'am. Here. Yes. Here also. Yes. Okay. Now it will be one minus two. Okay, one second, ma'am. It will change it to integer. So one minus two is minus one. Minus one minus three. Will be minus four, I guess, ma'am. Okay. See the result. Yeah, ma'am. Minus okay. four. Okay. So only we have plus. It will be concatenated. For yeah, yeah. For will... yeah. Yes. For minus, it will change that string to uh, integer, ma'am. If we have that number value inside. Yes, correct. I will paste the next question. Should I tell, ma'am? Yes. So false equal to equal to zero. It will be true, ma'am. Okay. See the result. Truth value, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. You know why? Yes, ma'am. Because we are we are using only a uh, double equal to. So it's for. Uh, it's not check uh, like if we use triple equal to, it will strictly check the type also. Yes. But here we are not checking the type, so okay. false okay. equal to equal to is zero. It's changing zero is also taken as false, ma'am. So false equal to equal to is false. That's truth value. Yes, correct. And in behind the scene, false will be converted to zero. So we got true. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will paste the last question. Okay, ma'am. Second. Numbers four to twenty-two, forty-four. Console log number of one. Okay. The sort is used if the strings are there. Then the numbers. Like it will use how many? 
okay i'm not sure ma'am for this but maybe like sort is used if we will have like different alphabets in it it will yes. sort that for that, numbers how but it for numbers i am not recalling that ma'am i have studied it but i'm not recalling that uh, right no now. problem no problem so just guess the result any number you can tell so number of one so maybe 4 then 8 is there then 4 8 then 22 then 30 then maybe 4 48 maybe 4 will be there ma'am okay see the result oh 34 is 34. there okay now just console numbers and you see how it is sorted yeah ma'am i'm not remembering this how does it work and no problem now it is going to sort in this way okay ma'am 22 okay why in this way because 22 because 2 is coming before 3 oh 34. okay ma'am exactly 34 yeah. before so in this way numbers will be sorted yeah yeah, yeah. okay mm. yes ma'am can we start with project round yeah ma'am Maybe okay. you said React also. Yes, we'll do project on React. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So what you have to do, you have to create simple to-do list tab. Okay. In which you should be having three buttons. Okay. For completing the task, for removing the task, and also for filtering. Like filtering. See, you have you you have to create simple to do list tab, and you have to yeah. add the list. Yeah, so to delete for completing, like marking it complete, and yes, you filtering exactly filtering. what I have to do. Filtering means completed task we have to filter, and uh, whatever not okay. completed task we have to filter. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So basically, task will be completed and not completed. Okay, ma'am. You can give one button, or you can just type that task. so while you remove that you can give one strike so that will be completed and which are not striked those are not completed yes ma'am i'll do it ma'am ma'am should i delete these two files i'll create yes, it yes yes you can delete or you can keep for your reference anything is ah yes ma'am i can should keep it i guess i'll create another folder only Okay. Uh, I'll give twenty-five minutes to complete this. Okay. Okay. I'll try my best, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Once it is done, let me know. Okay, ma'am.
I had to write functions for this. I created this much. Okay, so no problem. By looking at this, you definitely you can do this project. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I have seen. So first feedback I would give. So whenever you are doing any project in interviews, don't focus on styling part. Okay, okay? ma'am. By looking at the code, I got to know you are confident enough to write the logic. Yes, ma'am. So first build the logic, get the result, then focus on styling. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. If you are not okay, if you are not confident on coding part, like only one or two steps, you know, then focus on stylings. Okay, at least you can show that you know the CSS part. Okay. But now here you are confident. Okay, you can do this. So yes. don't uh, waste your time on styling part. Yes, ma'am. Okay, because if I give one more half hour, you will be able to do this. Yeah, ma'am. So that's great. You have done amazing job. Thank you, ma'am. So, if this was real interview, definitely I would have given the offer right, right now. Itself. <laughs> thank you, thank you so you, much, ma'am. You were amazing, and this is the like very nice interview I have taken till now. Oh, thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> that means a lot. Yes, and uh, because of your position property, right now after this interview, I am going to sit and I am going to revise and try it. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Surely, ma I, I, I also I had to learn more, ma'am. I learned a lot from you also, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, ma'am. And out of ten marks, how many marks you will give yourself? Maybe, ma'am, seven, ma'am. Okay, I would be giving eight, but still you have to learn. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, just practice. Okay, if you, I think if you get one or two months, you you will learn lot more things. Yeah, ma'am, surely, ma'am. Yes. So it was great interview with you. Thank you, ma'am. And definitely, <laughs> position I am going to learn after this. <laughs> Thank you because so much. Because even I work in different uh, technologies, and I forget the concept. So yeah, I have to keep actually, on yes, revising. Well, la, it's been it's been last one month. I'm using React and Tailwind CSS, so that's why. I, yes, I'm, so it happens because of this latest technologies. We are going into so many fields. Yes, ma'am. And different client projects, so I have to not uh, miss this. If I get any bug, I have to suffer. Oh. So I'm going to revise the concept. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. And it was definitely, it was very, very nice uh, taking interview for you. Thank you, ma'am. The CSS part, little bit you can focus. Grid part and flexbox because that is modern. Yes, ma'am. And if you are using React with Tailwind, okay, that's fine. But still, CSS is must. Yeah, ma'am. I will surely look for that. Okay. And start doing projects like larger projects, e-commerce. Have you made any projects? Yeah, ma'am. I have some projects. I can show you, ma'am. I have just deployed them also. Like I can show you my portfolio also. Okay. So, will it be fine if it is if we if I upload this? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Like this oh, is my okay. portfolio. Okay. These are my projects like cryptocurrency app, and I have a. Let's modern type TikTok to give and that to do list, but this I have used JavaScript, I'm not React JS for. Okay, this. okay. Yeah. Okay. So and one currency converter and few more projects I have made, but they are not deployed. Okay, so this portfolio you have built using React. Yeah, ma'am. This I have okay. built using React and Tailwind CSS. Only. Okay, okay. That's nice. So yes, this form is working. Yes, ma'am. This is working also. Okay, okay. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, great, Sakhi. Thank you, ma'am. Definitely, you will get the job if you apply right now. I'm trying from last one month, but yeah, I'm getting opportunities, but okay. Like, I'm trying my best to get. Okay, the job. you will get uh, good jobs if you show this. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Uh, but uh, start building, build. Uh, Bigger projects. Like yeah, ma'am. I'm uh, planning homes. to build a big uh, projects. Yes, ma'am. Major projects. Like these apps. are the mini projects type. Yes, these are mini projects. Yeah, ma'am. I'll do that. Okay. So yes. you can create any chatting application or social media app, e-commerce, yeah, anything. Yeah, ma'am. At least one big project should be there in your portfolio. Yes, ma'am. I'll do that. Ma okay. Okay, Sa Sakib. Do you have any questions? Uh, not exactly. I mean, can I ask you where are you from? I'm from Bangalore only. <laughs> Same oh, place we both are. 
No, rightly I am in Delhi, but I completed my graduation there only. Okay, okay. I am yeah. from Bengaluru. Like we oh. are neighbors, uh, neighboring college. You are from CMR, I am from Presidency. Oh, okay, ma'am. Yeah, the teachers are best in Bangalore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, Sakhib. Okay, then. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Sakhib. Thank you for joining. Bye. Thank Have you. a great day. Bye. Thank you, ma'am.